Atiku Obi Tinubu supporters take their presidential campaign fight to the United States of America. It has gone international. It's no more a battle being fought on Nigerian soil. And when you hear of fight, you might think they are shooting at each other. No, 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 no. It's just a word we used to describe the campaigns, the support, the energy, the tenacity of supporters of these candidates. They are fighting orally. They're just talking, you know, cheering their guys and um, asking people to support their cause and their candidates. That's all about the fight. But that fight has now landed on U.S. soil. And it happened on Saturday, the 1st of October, when Nigeria was celebrating 62 years of independence there in the United States. We give you a gentle reminder to please like this video, share it among your contacts and friends, and subscribe to our channel if you are coming across us for the very first time. We always bring compelling content, breaking news, coupled with deep analysis. The three leading presidential candidates in the 25th February 2023 Nigerian presidential elections, Peter Obi, Atiku Abubakar, and Bola Tinubu, on Saturday took their campaign fight to Nigerians in the United States of America. According to reports, it says that the support groups of Abubakar, Obi, and Tinubu converged on New York at the Nigerian Nigeria Independence Day Parade and Carnival to canvass votes for their candidates. Atiku Abubakar is the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, while Obi is that of the Labour Party, LP, and Tinubu, the All Progressives Congress, APC. The support groups for the leading presidential candidates joined the Nigeria Independence Day Parade and Carnival in a float with DJs and supporters dancing to the candidates' campaign lyrics. They later regrouped at the Dark Hammersfield Park, where they continued singing and dancing to attract Nigerians to their candidates. Speaking, one of the coordinators of the Save Nigeria group for Obi Dati, Mr. Stephen Osemwege, said Nigerians in the diaspora wanted a Nigeria that works for everyone, bemoaning the economic situation in the country. He said that when people call us from home, the calls are no longer, how are you? The calls are, Please help me, save me. So we in the diaspora are trying to get involved and being engaged, he said. We found Obi to be a competent leader with integrity. He does say, go and verify. And we verified his claims. And they are largely true. Except maybe he may miss one number or the other. But if you go through his antecedents, he's really a good man. And in Nigeria, we don't have this type of people coming out very often. So we see this as a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This, you could say, is a candid opinion of one of uh, the Bidati supporters. Okay, they think he's uh, somebody decent that they can trust. And that is why he's um, rooting for him. And they led us into a secret that when usually when we call people abroad, we say, how are you? Ask them some niceties or greetings before we start narrating our unending problems. But now he's saying that whenever they receive call, they just hear directly, help me, save me. And he's not far from the truth. I've called one or two people in my lifetime and I've asked them that Nigeria is, um, uh, <laughs> the situation is out of hand. And they receive this calls every time without people even asking them how they survive, what they do abroad and the rest of those things. Because we believe that once you're abroad, if you're in the United States, you'll be picking dollar in the street. You never 
get dry, as we say. And in the UK, if you are living there, you will be packing pounds and cartons. Therefore, what's the need asking you how are you instead of just give me the money? I'm dying. Anyway, he also said that that's why they came out in full force to let people know that disobedient movement is not just a Nigerian thing. He said that many Nigerians in the diaspora would vote, adding, because I will be in Nigeria for the election, I am that determined. Many of us are going to buy our tickets. Wow, this is serious. So we are now going to have an invasion of uh, foreign-based Nigerians, diaspora Nigerians. I, I hope we will understand when they speak, because some of them speak through the nose. Don't mind me, this is just a distraction. Anyway. One of the things Safe for Nigeria group is doing is to ask Nigerians, instead of going for Christmas, go in January or February and vote. We're also asking people to support grassroots movements in Nigeria. Support them through your finances if you can. Also, call your family members that call you for money. Ask them, do they have their PVCs? No PVC, no dollars. Wow, this one is... Uh, <laughs> please. Supposing they lie to you, I, I said they have PVC. Do you have anyone verifying? Okay, these days we are in the um, age of global communication. You could ask them to put on um, a video call so that you check their names and numbers. This one is very terrible. Nigerians are very smart. I can always tell you that uh, there's no light from... Uh, <laughs> electricity anyway so no pvc no dollars be mindful that's what we are doing Ose Wege said the chairman of the pdp in the united states pastor joe olobo said he was rooting for Atiku because he was the most experienced and prepared among the front runners for the election olobo said Nigerians in the diaspora are actually influencers and that is why it is very important that we sell our candidate to them to be able to galvanize and utilize their influence over many people they have in Nigeria. We in the diaspora, especially in the United States, send a lot of money to Nigeria to take care of our people back home. And we will not continue to do that if we have a good government to actually do the right thing. This is spot on. No argument about this. Really true. If Nigerian governments are responsive, some of you guys abroad will actually head home to Nigeria. Yeah, because um, a lot of my friends keep telling me we are tired of staying abroad and I'm saying, why? We even want to get there. Anyway, of all the three candidates, he continued, Tiku is the most prepared candidate, the most experienced, and the greatest unifier, both South and North. That's what we are selling, he said. Also, speak with, um, also speaking with uh, journalists, the coordinator of the Tinubu support group, Mr. Lukman Ajasa, said Tinubu was the best among the presidential candidates because he had antecedents. We are trying to bring you the opinion of the three top runners. You've seen we started with the B people, we went to the PDP, Atiku people, and now we are at Tinubu's people. I just as said, particularly Tinubu will be able to address the security situation in the country, stabilize the economy, and provide welfare for the citizens. My candidate is an accountable politician. He has fixed legal states. And we can all see what Lagos is now. If you compare him to what the other candidates have done, they have not even done a quarter of what he, Tinubu, has done. I believe Tinubu is the best president for the country, Ajasa said. He, however, warned politicians against taking the Nigerian electorates for granted, saying the people can now fight back through their votes. The candidates need to open their ears and listen to what the people want. The electorates have had enough and are ready to fight back. So as a politician, you must listen to the electorates and what they want. You must tell them how you want to fix the grassroots, particularly the local governments. Fix the local governments and you have fixed Nigeria, he said. 
This sounds like a school debate, but this time is going. Uh, uh, the it's like a tripod, three-legged, coming from the big group, the Atiku group, the uh, Tinubu group. So they are selling Obi, saying he can be trusted. He is verifiable. They are selling articles saying that he's a unifier and he's prepared, um, experienced, the most experienced. And they are selling to the saying that he has antecedents. He will provide welfare for the citizens and also do what he did in Lagos. As Ajasa is trying to make us understand. What is your own opinion? Who are you going for? That is the big question. Go to the comment section and tell us what you think. But you see, Nigerians abroad are taking very keen interest in this election and that is a very good development. This is where we call it an end to this uh, report and we see you in our next video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe.